go. Hey, what's up? You're sitting with Simone. And right now, I'm with the Sweet Talker Candy Eastman. How you doing tonight? I'm good. So, you're sipping with Simone and the Sweet Talker. Yes, ma'am. So, we are in October and you are a breast cancer survivor. What words could you give to encourage people maybe facing the same situation? Just know that God will work it out. If he did it for me, he will do it for you. Right now, I'm just overwhelmed because this month was the month that I was diagnosed three years ago um, with a lot of prayers and well wishes from the community. I was able to do it with the support of family. And uh, it's important to be tested and screened because when I was diagnosed, it was from a routine mammogram. So I didn't feel any lung. There wasn't any abnormality. And if I hadn't got that mammogram, uh, I would never have been detected. It's important to be screened, get your mammograms, and um, let God do the rest because he's doing it. Yes, he always does. Now, you've been a radio bit for like a long time. When did you figure out radio was a career for you? I went to a media magnet school in Boston. I um, attended Northeastern University, and there, um, after working with the radio station and being in that environment, I liked it. You know, uh, so in my yearbook, I actually wrote that I wanted to be a broadcast journalist. And here I am in Houston. Uh, I was celebrating my 22nd year on Halloween from Mandy 102. From so it's been a wonderful, person, a great journey. And I get to share, uh, you know, part of me that the community connects with is the fact that I am a breast cancer survivor. You know, I was a single parent for many years. Had, had a chance to include my sons. One of the um, most memorable magic moments was when I was able to broadcast live from my home while they had the chicken birth. So they see me get married, they see my sons uh, grow. I actually have a son who's on 97.95. Right, a mere diamond. Yes. Like, what advice do you give him? Because you know, it's so many people that want to be in radio. What would you tell them? I would use his advice. He said, shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> and don't ever let anyone steal your shine. Okay. Do you have a favorite radio host? Favorite radio host? Well, Wendy Williams and I went to college together at Northeastern University. And uh, I like her, her Wendy Williams show, but I'm a big fan of her. Oh, for yeah. She's like, to me, the best because she's the mom and she sets the path of how everybody does it. Okay, that's it. Thank you, you guys. Sipping with Simone and the Sweet Talk. Thank you. Thank you. So, here's one go. Hey, what's up? You're sipping with Simone. Right now, I'm with Kim Gunye, three-time Emmy Award winner and producer of the Steve Harvey Show. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. I'm very good. Well, let me just correct, uh, and it'll probably bring up a point. Uh -huh. This uh, June, I took a leap of faith, and I left the talk show. After four seasons, I took a jump and I left the talk show, but I was there for four seasons as a supervising producer. Okay, well, like most people in this field, like they don't understand you're gonna have to take a leap of faith. At some point. So, like, why, why is that so important? Well, I mean, when you take me, for example, um, you know, I'll give you, I was in Houston, I've done all of my, uh, I worked at Channel 26, Channel 11, and it just got to a point where I was a big fish in a little pond. I had helped create uh, Great Day Houston, which is a local show, it's still on uh, today with Deborah Duncan, 10 years, it's still on. And I was one of the creators of that. But make a long story short, I had literally done everything in Houston. I really had. And an opportunity came for me to go to LA. And I said, no, no, oh my God, because I thought in a box, I was in a box, and in box thinking, which I think a lot of us have, it's where we think inside of a box. And I was like, no, no, I got a husband, I got three kids, I can't go to LA. And my husband being the supportive person that he is, he said, you will go to LA, because that is going to put you in a different way. Do you feel like you're on the open air and change? No, not at all, you know, unfortunately, well, you know, I'm going to say this, a lot of marriages are secretly open, so you don't want everybody to know. And of course, very much so, there's sometimes that women are in a relationship, or in a marriage, and they know they're ugly, she's going to tell them, like, they're there. I was just open about it. That's about it. So, I
I just felt that I don't want to suppress or hold him back from that because he doesn't want to be right now, what's next going to come on the break? Movies, movies, and hopefully Emmys. Oh, yeah. We'll be looking forward to seeing it. Thank you very much. Thank you.